Hi guys, how's it going? Name is Lorraine and welcome to the New Earth community. Welcome to today's collective terror love reading. Alright guys, so once again let's focus in on your person. Person on your mind, person you're thinking about at this time. Someone you want to now get closer to here guys or take it to that next level. Exclusive relationship, alright? So let's pull cards on this person's thoughts their emotions, as well as their actions. We're going to come in with the traditional right away. All right, we're going to pull a crowning card. Then we'll pull additional cards to add depth and meaning, as well as clarity. All right, guys, and we'll end it out with an alien oracle card for you today. So what do you need to know? Oh, what do you need to know? Let's dive deep, guys. What do you need to know? Okay, the moon card. The moon card and the wheel of fortune. All right. There's a lot of emotions here. That's what the moon card represents. All right, guys, emotions, feelings here. It also talks about a deep inner knowing here in your reading, but can you trust it? All right, I get here in your reading a person, well... Their feelings are overwhelming for this person. Your person can't stop thinking about you here. So much so, because they're thinking so much about you, they're also thinking about themselves here in your reading. All right. This person wants a new beginning. This person wants a shot with you. But what it's talking about here in your reading, I think unbeknownst to your person, okay, guys, they're beginning to kind of change here. It, it can kind of come in like that. But these changes here in your reading are huge. It's huge here, for um, guys, because you consume this person's thoughts. You consume this person's emotions. It's overwhelming. That's what I mean. It's overwhelming. It's like it's bubbling up to the surface. And then they're not able to control it like they did in the past. That's what I'm getting here. You're not too sure about this person and what their actions, how they feel about you. And even your own feelings here, you're not too sure about it. But this person is. Your person knows. All right, guys. It's, it's almost like it's um, the learning here. That's what I'm getting. All right, guys, with the Wheel of Fortune. They're learning new things about themselves, things that were hidden here. By being consumed by their thoughts of you, that's what it's kind of talking about here in your reading. They're learning more about them. Positives and negatives here about themselves. Have a look. Oh, there it is again, the Wheel of Fortune. You have the Empress. You have the Hierophant. You have the Knights of Pentacles. Yeah. One minute, guys. Thank you, Divine. Can I do that properly? All right, so you're coming in with the Ten of Swords. You're coming in with the Knight of Cups. You have the Ace of Pentacles here. You have the Ace of Wands. Wow, Eight of Pentacles. 
Two of Cups here in your reading. Yeah, see, the Moon card in your reading is actually kind of coming in as the Hierophant guy. This is what it's saying. So things that were hidden, but these were hidden about this person, about themselves. It could also talk about things that they didn't want to know or things that they didn't want to kind of face about themselves. These could be emotions. This could be, this could be all about love here in your reading. And it kind of is coming in like that here. All right. What true and real love is. That's what it's saying. Now it's a little bit different in your reading here. Okay guys, because the moon card is also talking about here what's, what was hidden here from you, you the viewer. It's almost like you knew certain things were going on. The Ten of Swords. Alright. So you're coming in with the Wheel of Fortune and you're coming in with the Ten of Swords here in your reading. And so what this talks about here in your reading is that in the past, everybody got involved. There were other people involved in your guy's dynamic. Your guy's situation, it could have even been your guy's relationship. And so people had an opinion. The Ten of Swords is kind of coming in as the Wheel of Fortune. So there were certain things that happened, you know, people put their time and attention into things. This is what it's talking about here in your reading. To kind of try and, I suppose, change your mind and or your person's mind to come towards you. <clears throat> <clears throat> One minute, guys. Thank you. Because the Ten of Swords can talk about here in your reading, it can, you know, and it is part of the Moon card, of course, is negative feelings here. But you need other people to kind of take it to ten. This is what it can kind of talk about here in your reading. See, then this is a past cycle. This is what happened in the past when it came when it came to you and your person. You and the Hierophant. The Hierophant guy. See, what it also talks about here is the obstacle for the Hierophant guy is knowing all of that went on. But what it also talks about here, and I spoke about it, is that this person had to learn here, guys. But they had to learn about themselves. This is what it's saying. Because they knew certain things. This is what it's also talking about. They knew the truth about you. They knew the truth about others. But how were they going to change that? How could they change it? There was so much going against your guys' dynamic relationship here all right guys mm. it would have proven to be a struggle for the hierophant guy to step up and change coming in with the ace of pentacles not only that coming in as the empress here it was a struggle for you to come in this way as well after everything that went on. And this was all, it's like this was all happening um, behind the scenes here. Alright guys? But what it also talks about here in your reading is that you kind of knew it. And it's like saying, but there was nothing, nothing you or your person could do but to ride it out. The Wheel of Fortune. But to let certain things happen. Because nothing you may you could have said or your person could have said 
was going to change people's opinions here. Now, what it also talks about here, guys, it was the opportunity for a new beginning. That's what it's saying. And people were, may have, mm, it's like that, been against it. But it's almost like people were against the both of you. It wasn't just one of you here. This is what it's saying. You know, and it may have created resentment here, a judgment towards your person, towards each other here in your reading. What it also talks about here, and I spoke about it, was lessons. They eh? was learning, learning about yourself. There were some hard lessons for the both of you that you had to kind of learn about yourself here. Okay, when it came to the Ten of Swords, when it came to other people, but also about yourself here in, in your reading. All right, your own negative, your own negative here, your person's negative, as well as other people's negative here. And just how you had to kind of get a grip, um, deal with it, deal with it here. Okay, because people's opinions weren't going to change. That's what it's saying. So whatever people put out, that negative that people put out here. All right, guys, it's it's almost like saying with the Wheel of Fortune, they invested in it. That's what it's talking about here in your reading. But what it kind of talks about here in your reading is that it didn't do anything. It didn't go to that extreme because here in your reading, it's like you, you both took ownership of that Ten of Swords, those negative feelings, the moon card. Negative feelings, your negative mindset and actions, okay? And you made it, you turned it around here, even though it doesn't kind of come in like that. But what it talks about here in your reading is that regardless of what went down, you're both still in love with each other. See, the Ten of Swords may have been something really tough to deal with, of course, here in your reading, but it's almost like it, it kind of gave you both that motivation here. It kind of inspired you. To create changes in your life. Here in your reading. You know you didn't take it lying down. Is what I'm getting. Just because. Um, you had to face adversity. Because you had to face. Um, other people's negative. It's like saying. Okay so I'm going to leave their negative there. And I'm going to deal with my own negative. The shadow work. Yeah, I have negative. It's like saying, taking ownership here, guys, and saying, yeah, I have negative, but I'm going to work on it. Because you do have the Eight of Cups. I'm going to work on it because I love my person. Here, what was hidden. And it's the same for the Horophant guy here in your reading. See, it's like taking it to another level here for the Hierophant. To be strong, to have strength and courage, to have wisdom here, okay? Not keeping it at the Ten of Swords, not leaving it for other people here. Like I said, it's about, you know, it's like... A purge, it's like some kind of ego death for your person as well to have a new beginning. Because in your eyes and in your person's eyes, it was what you wanted. It's almost like saying here in your reading, even coming in with the moon card, love kind of conquered here. Love won. The love, the feelings that you have towards each other. 
it, it kind of won the game here. Mm. One, I don't know if that's the right word, but love came out on top. Because with the two of cups coming in here, it was true and real love. But you both had to kind of find it within yourself, coming in with the ten of swords here, all right? In order to carry on and in order to make certain changes here is what I'm getting. Mm. To create some kind of happiness in your life and I do seem to think that's what you've done thus far but true and real happiness for you is being in love with your person and it's unconditional love this is what it's saying see even though you're coming in with the ten of swords here guys you know you chose to love your person you chose love that's what it's talking about see yeah of course there were things that you didn't know but also here, when it comes to the Ten of Swords, when it comes to people you had to deal with and people your person had to deal with, what they didn't realise was that you were both in love with each other. That's what it's saying. And this is why this person is coming in the way that they are, because there's a fear here. All right? There's a fear here with your person. Will you still choose them after everything that's happened? Because I do love you. That's what I'm getting. Alright, let's have a look. Let go of rooted beliefs, traditions and religion. They are only to be used as a tool. You, all have, you have all the answers within. Intuition, inner knowing. Repeat the Kundalini meditation exercise. Chakra alignment video mission program. Alright guys. Check out my Etsy shop, okay, it's in the description box below, alright guys, click on the link and it'll take you straight there, you need to check out um, the playlist, if you want to know more about the programs, there are detailed summaries inside of the, the um, description box, alright guys, and you'll use the Etsy shop link, okay, to click on those programs, to purchase those programs. All right, guys, that's what it's talking about here in your reading. But what it's also saying here in your reading, hey, guys, it's a level up. This is what needed to happen in order for you to create positive changes in your life. There was... No other way it was going to happen here. All right. You had to face that negative in order to embrace the positive. The positive here in your reading was love. That's what it's talking about. All right. All right, guys, I'm going to leave it there. Okay. Book an image reading, tarot reading with me. All right, I spoke to you about the Etsy shop link. I'm going to leave it there, guys. I hope you liked your reading. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you later. Bye.